So this last year has been absolutely amazing. On January 1st, 2018, we saw our minimum wage jump from $11.60 to $14 an hour. Finally, workers in Ontario started to see the minimum wage come out of the poverty levels that they were in. We also started to get personal emergency leave days, which are job protected days when we were sick, two of which are paid. On April 1st, 2018, we saw the introduction of equal pay for equal work, where the government has brought in legislation to actually make sure that if you're a temp worker, a casual, part-time worker, that you cannot be paid less than someone doing comparable work. All of these new rights that have been coming in are now in jeopardy. They could be soon taken away. We know since the Ontario elections in June that we now have a majority conservative government that is strongly backed by the big business lobby. And that big business lobby has signaled its full intentions to get rid of and to take away our $15 minimum wage, our equal pay for equal work new scheduling rights that workers haven't even seen yet, but which are supposed to come in on January 1st, 2019. We are not gonna let that happen. For the first time, we've seen a dramatic improvement in the wages and working conditions for workers in this province. We have a challenge before us. We need to organize like we've never organized before. We need to ensure that in every neighborhood, in every workplace, in every community, in every city in this province, that we are organizing to not only keep what we have won, but to also fight for more. We deserve a decent minimum wage. We deserve decent rights in this province. When we go to work, we deserve to be able to earn a wage that puts food on the table and helps us pay the rent. We deserve to have conditions that don't put our lives at risk. And so we are the little people. We are the majority. It's really important that we make sure that we send this message to every MPP in this province, that we all should be fighting for decent wages and working conditions for all of us.